Looks like we need a voice print and a retinal scan from that noodle VP who gave the keynote to unlock the car. Right. I'll get on it. Sending you his address now. Alright guys, here we go. So let's go ahead and show this on our map. Looks like we're all the way up here. We're gonna fast travel to... Where are we gonna fast travel? I don't even know. Maybe maybe the motor, motocross race is over here. Alright! We are gonna go to this guy's home of residence. And see if we can get those uh, voice scans that we need. It's just coffee. Just a coffee date. Nothing to worry about. Meeting some strange woman from the internet. Internet dating is normal. What if she doesn't look like her picture? What if she thinks I don't look like my picture? Oh god, this is a bad idea. Why did I let Yonatan talk me into this? <laughs> oh, it's true. I don't have time to try and go out and meet people. Bloody hell. What? Oh shit, server's down. Somebody checked in faulty code again. Damn it. Nice, all right, we're gonna get his eye. Good stuff. It's exactly what we needed. Now we need his voice. We need both. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I'm coming in. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Got it. Excellent. Well, you have fun gazing into his pretty brown eyes? <laughs> yeah, no. But thanks for playing that thought, Ray. Marcus has way better taste than that. Woo! Nice pad this guy has. He should. He's a priority one, after all. How could I forget? This dude's house has the works. Smart TV, smart toilet, smart sink, smart <laughs> carpeting, smart throw pillows, smart everything. Smart One of those toilets? Is to have his voice print on it. I'm guessing he's the kind of guy who wants to constantly record his own brilliance. <laughs> All right, let's go get that voice that we need, boys. Here we go. Oh, he's he's got a dog. That's not good. Okay. It's gonna be tougher than I thought. Is that a drone box right there? I guess we could, let's try it our drone, see what we can find. Oh, look at that right there. We've got a garage that we can, lo oh, that would be a fantastic way to get in. What do we need to do? We just need to, is this stuff that we can do with our little little jumper? Jumper was useful in our last mission. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried about the dog though, you know what I mean? Like I don't think the dog's gonna appreciate a little jumper drone going all over the place. But we can try it. Puppy ain't that smart, huh? Oh gosh. Okay, so we've got this guy down here. Do I hear robots going around? Oh, there's that guy, okay. Dude, look at this kitchen, bro! He's got vines in his kitchen, are you kidding me? Okay, the fridge is gonna be our first play, it looks like. We don't even have to get close to it. Nice! Okay. Come back. Again. Add it to the grocery order. But only half a gallon. And make a note. The grass-fed raw milk goes back two days earlier than Mark. This homie is talking to his friend fridge. He's got voice memos in his fridge. What in the world, man? So the other two are going to be up above us. We've got robots. Dude, I thought we were found out right there. 
Hey. Alright, we're gonna go. Everything is in order. We're gonna go. Cleaning his shower, dude. Look at this bathtub, man. What in the world? Oh, here's his. <laughs> here's his smart toilet. What does he talk to his toilet about? I want to know. Took a picture of us. Right, I don't guys. feel like that's good. I have his voice print, his retinal scan, and far too much information about his life. All that's left is to steal the car, which means breaking into WKZ, where they're going to be storing it in preparation for Noodle's big fancy reveal. Ah, WKZ, fine purveyors of BS. And their infomercial about the Noodle car is going to get turned into a lovely expose of how we value human life. All right. Sounds good to me, boys. Oh, look at that big jump. Let's do it. Let's move on What's to our up? next section. Time to steal a car, my friend. They have it on one of their sound stages at WKZ. All shiny and waiting for us. Sounds like fun. I've always wanted to break into a TV station. Since this is such a golden opportunity, boys, we should take advantage of it and plant some information gathering devices at WKZ. I like it. Keep an ear out. Exactly. I'm thinking some actual surveillance equipment and some software. I'll meet you near WKZ with all the gear. Sounds good. See you soon. All right, boys. Let's head to the news station. Yo, wrench. Score! Check these out. I bet they use these during their undercover sting operations. Got any trouble with the van? Nope. But WKZ hired humanized Zulu as extra security after all these bomb threats I... They received? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how long have you been a kitty fondler? Hey man, you know that ain't right. Now, when you first saw the x-ray, did you recognize the action figure wedged inside your rectum? Yeah, it was my wrench figure. Figure that was the perfect hiding spot for him. <laughs> <laughs> wrench, did you give Marcus the USB? Yep, way ahead of you. I uh, was just telling him to jam that puppy into one of WKZ's computers. And I'll take it from there. By the way, if they ever do make a red traction figure, they better glue the mask on so it doesn't traumatize children. You say that like it's a bad thing. All right, time to break into a news station, boys. This should be interesting. Right, so plant Mike, put some spyware in the system, and steal a cool car using the biometric data we got from the Noodle V. I miss anything? A few other things, but don't worry. I got it covered. Okay, so it looks like we have a rooftop entrance, which oftentimes will be our best bet. The question is how we would get up to the roof if we wanted to use that. I don't see any ladders anywhere. Look it around, look it around, look it around. We'd need either a ladder or Ah, that right there. All right. Well, we're in business, boys. I'm gonna move this on over to where we're at. We're gonna use this to get up top. Hit ourselves in the process. Oops. Look at that snug fit right there. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Oops. We're a little bit too close. All 
We can't get any higher up than that. That's as high as we go. Well, I hope that's enough. Ah, oh, it should be. Should be able to just jump across. Nice. Gotcha! He's down, baby. All right. We're inside, boys. Okay, so one of our objectives is on this level. The other one is down below. Let's take this guy out. Mike planted. Right, Mike planted. Now we need to get this thing in their computer and also steal the car. Where's the car? Oh, the car's right there. Okay, the question is how are we gonna get into their computer? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna get down and stay down right here. Watch this. Oops. We don't want that thing. We want the jumper. Why not? There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Sneaky, sneaky, boys! This is good stuff. Okay, these people, I don't think they're going to care if we come up and steal their data. So we're just going to go for it. That'll do it. Everybody always thinks it's so awesome. That's hilarious. All right, so we're gonna call this thing back. And now we are good to steal the biometric car. Move in. Time to go. Missed the first couple shots there, obviously. All right, let's steal this thing. Oh, no. Open car. Like magic? <laughs> Good shit. Time to go, baby. Hurry up! Oh, gosh. shit, man. The car isn't responding. How did who went out? Wrench. Hit in the game? I'm trying to turn the wheel and nothing is happening. How the hell am I supposed to drive the damn car? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it might be voice control. Just talk to it. Talk to it? You gotta be joking. No, just talk to it. <laughs> uh, drive car. Seriously? Exit the building. Closest exit point. Driving. Yeah. Shit, not through the window! Uh, I was a much better car voice. You were totally a fake car voice? But yeah, you, you, you were better. Oh, Jesus, turn, turn. <laughs> Dude, this thing's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Look at those side view mirrors, they're little cameras. Get me the hell out of here. All right. Without killing me. All so, yeah. Okay, want well, a vehicle? All you can enter aiming mode, control. up one. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. How do I revert you okay. to manual control? I don't understand the question. We can't even drive this thing, dude. Squad, suspect is armed. We've got to just distract everybody. Collision. And, and stop them. Oh my gosh, what are you, what are you doing, Car? What are you doing, Car? Okay, we're just, uh, all right, that's, that's what we're gonna do there. So this thing won't let us drive it. It wants to drive itself. <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. Uh, the cops are on your ass. I know. I can't get control of the fucking wheel. You try asking the car to give you control? Yes. It didn't understand the question. Well, bypass the self-driving system. Are you a hacker or aren't you? Yeah, yeah. All right, I can do this before I get shot. Getting shot is inadvisable and will raise your insurance premium. Ain't nobody ask you. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Copy that. A patrol car is en route to the suspect.
We're in, baby. We're driving it now. Let's go. Yeah, I'm trying you. to get the heck out of here. Of the car. <laughs> awesome. Hey, don't even ask what I had to do to get it. still in the vicinity. Let's find him. No way. Huh. <laughs> Finally, can catch my breath. Ooh, ooh, life scores. Life scores, that's right. We were gonna check out people's life scores. Ooh, this should be entertaining. I'm sure it will be. We could just look people up. Ah, oh, much less fun and less useful footage as evidence. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Life scores should be visible when you hack people. Their profiles won't have the same granularity you'd find in the direct data, but will indicate high, medium, or low priorities. No way, like these two girls right there were low. <laughs> That's so sad. You see Noodle's new self-driving car. Keep your biometric data. They promise you safety and security in exchange for your biometrics. Using CTOS, they can see everything about you. And that may kill you. Noodle's car uses your life score linked to your biometric data and its algorithms. If it has to choose between your safety and that of someone else, the one with the higher life score lives. The other dies. Your car will kill you to save someone more important than you. You may not know your life score, but Noodle does. Will they judge you worthy? We have given you the truth. Do what you will. Dude, that is so messed up. What were you the whole time I was working my ass off? Doing stuff. How's my hair? Lynn can hit it home? No? All right, fuck you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we're in for a big one. Can you, can you feel it growing in the south? How long have you been an actor? Oh, I'd say between one and 30 years, I guess. But aren't we all acting when you really get down to it? Bam! High chance of rain, people. High chance of rain. Make sure you wear your protection, okay? Jesus shit, Jimmy, <laughs> where's my goddamn teleprompter? You know I can't even remember my own gosh darn name unless it came to me on a beat first, right? All right, and there you guys have it. That is a mission complete here on our first mission of the DLC. Let's oh, look at that. The Cyrix was added to our vehicles on demand, so we can get this thing anytime we want, which is really nice. But uh, yeah, if we go into our, uh, our dead sec app here, you guys will see that uh, it's been completed. We only have two more DLC missions to go. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Make sure to smack that like button and uh, peace out.